Hooray! Track and field. The World Athletics Championship on the air live from Eugene, Oregon. Track Town, USA. This evening dedicated coverage of the women's discus. Terrific throwing conditions. Warm, warm, really warm. Relatively calm down on the infield at Hayward Field. There are the medals that they are competing for. 32 degrees Celsius. Who said it's, it's gotten warm over the last few nights. Finest athletic stadium in the U.S. Hayward Field World Championships held here 101 years after the very first meet on this footprint land. You should take a look at the start list. This is the throwing order that they will go in. Janice Kraft from Germany will go first, all the way down to Maria Tolz, who will finish things off from Croatia in the 12th spot. We have two throwers from Croatia, two from the United States, three from Germany. Right now, back straight in complete sunlight, and front straight is in shadows. Much cooler temperatures there. Still a lovely evening. There are the medals that will be presented to the athletes immediately after the competition. They'll be hung around their neck. It's time and so, the as we begin to meet it's our throwers in this one, Melina Robert Michon. She's 43 years old. She's the oldest finalist ever in this competition. She turned 43 on qualifying day. Happy birthday to me. I'm going to go ahead and make the world championship final. So it's about Lalonga Chisaga, 24-year-old. Had her personal best, season best, in qualifying a couple of days ago. There's Maria Tolge. She was a small Q qualifier, 61-46. But she's in. Liliana Ka, 61-41. Her qualifying took all of her throws. Bronze medalist, Shanice Kraft. Getting introduced to the crowd. Claudine Vita, we saw her qualifying throw as we got into this. Who was season best. Feng Bin. She's back as a finalist. She was a world championship finalist previously. Marinda Van Klinken, under 23 champ. Won some NCAA titles Cuba, here. So she's got good vibes as she comes Yannick into Pérez. Hayward Field. Yama Perez, the gold from medalist, Germany, the defender from Doha. Kristen Pudens. Pudence, one of the three German throwers, she qualified sixth. There's one of the most decorated athletes in track and field history, certainly one of the most decorated in this event. Sandra Perkovic, the two golds, a silver and a bronze in world championship. And then here on U.S. soil, the American thrower Valerie Allman ranked number one in the world. She was the gold medalist in trying to continue what has been a really good stretch for U.S. women throwers. Get ready to get started and go with our very first thrower, Shanice Kraft, 29-year-old from Germany. Also an excellent shot putter, but now has dedicated herself here to the discus. Well, Frank in the world in the opener. Out into the sector, and we are underway. Out the front of that cage. Spinning, gliding, reaching across that ring. And extend out there. That arm extended out as far as possible. In a few centimeters, 61 23. An opener for her. Along the saga, the American. At the University of Iowa. See if it's a great day to be a Hawkeye. Two spins. It's a bit of cockeyed bit out of round. It was not her first one, but again, got a chance to have a whole series here. Qualifying is strictly three throws, so I like the multis. A little pressure there to make sure you get off a good one. And there's some of that pressure here as well. But if you can get yourself into the top eight, earn yourself a back half and three more. Number comes out 56-47, so she certainly got far more in her than that. And here now is Allman. 
eight of the top ten throws in the world this year, and she opens big the Olympic gold medals. The American record holder at 71 meters 46. Remembered her proper shoes. She's only been beaten once this year. That was in Oslo. And her throwing shoes were wet, didn't get there, and she had to throw in just in trainers. And she's well back of the circle. She didn't even use all of that. And as she did in the Olympic Games, in that final, she threw a winning throw on the very first attempt when she went out to 68-98 to win in Tokyo, and then no one could match. 67-62, so she's not quite out where she was in her third qualifying throw, but that is a excellent starter for her, and has her in control as she waits for Perkovic, who is, again... That, that's just a legend right there. Two Olympic gold medals, fourth in Tokyo, but first in 2012 and 2016. She's out there big on her first one as well. It's well over the 65-meter line. Got a bisected between 65 and 70. English or imperial measurement, 65 meters is... 213 feet 3 inches 70 meters is 229 feet 8 inches and she will pass Allman she's listening to the crowd how you like me now can you hear me and she just threw one out there 67 74 12 inches better than Allman We've advanced to measuring these throws where it used to be a tape measure and then into a laser and now it's a very intricate camera system that does all the triangulation. Fang Bin from China in. In April, she set her personal best. Okay. Flat 66 meters. Eighth in the Olympics. Tape measure, laser, cameras, or eyeball. That's going to be a throw that will be the leader in the competition. And a PR by more than three meters. 66 meters, she improves to 69-12. So we have a contender here in for the medals. That can't believe that throw. It's Claudine Vita. She was here in 2014 in this stadium, though it's been rebuilt, in this stadium, Hayward Field, for the World Juniors, took fifth. It's back when it was historic Hayward Field. Now it's futuristic Hayward Field. Made this incredible facility here to host this championship. It's out here, 60 meters. So it's her idol in the sport is her countrywoman, Chinese Kraft. Throwing first in the order, perhaps, so we'll be around to her soon enough. Beat is 10th in the order. And then Clinkin will throw 11 and Tolls. And he rounds out our dozen throwers. Robert Michon. She was at the World Championships in Doha, was in the finals there, and then threw so well. Hit. Olympic silver medal, that was from Rio in 2016. She was at the Tokyo Games, didn't get into the finals there. But she's got a great collection of medals. Olympic silver, world championship silver. That one came in 2013. World junior silver, a lot of silver. Those are still impressive golden excuse me global medals 60 meters 36 so an improvement for her there Liliana Ka from Portugal here. a bunch of accolades on her resume sort of the 65 meter line 
addition to being fifth in Tokyo. She was first at the European Athletics Team Championship this year. First in the European Throwing Cup for discus last year. She's the Portuguese champion. 61 meters 76 there. Season best for her, so we're into Van Klinken. The D Dutch national record holder. 7 meters 22. She's one of three competitors. We've got a personal best over 70 meters. Van Klinken, Perkovic Almond. Last year, we've thrown better than 71. And Clinton, no mark in her first throw. Arizona State this season. She won the national championship, the college national championship indoor in the shot put. Steps out here, which I think. She would concur as her better event. 62-41 is the mark. Proves there. Gets into sixth. Ooh. Tolls in the ring quickly and means business. She's got a minute. She didn't need all those. She came off without a mark. In her first throw. White flag there, better. This is a phenomenal athlete. If you ever think, who's the greatest Croatian thrower? Hard to argue against this woman who has 20 national titles. 20, 13 outdoor, and 7 indoor. That's across the shot put and the discus, but one of the finest throwers representing those colors. Of Croatia. We are through two rounds. We get into the third round now. This is where it's important. You can certainly win the competition, but if you're towards the end of it, bottom end of that table, this is important. You want to get those other three throws. And right now, Chinese Kraft sitting in ninth needs to improve. The number to beat, the eighth right now, is the defending champ, Nami Perez, at 62 36. So right now, 62 36 is the bubble. To get those extra throws. Great shot, not just the white flag. You see, we're here in the early evening in Eugene as the sun looks like it's about to duck behind the grandstand here at Hayward Field. In the American Pacific time zone. So 62 35. She's a centimeter shy of eighth place. She will not advance by a centimeter. Now, there were 11 other throwers that maybe have gotten that back, but one centimeter to know that your day is over. Alongla Tasuga now. The Pan American Junior Gold, NCAA champion. And just a bit outside. No mark there. She got a little loose with that one. Get the sector, almost the whole infield couldn't hold him. Saga was 12th, so she will not advance to those final three throws. And there's Perez, who's sitting precariously in 62 36, eighth position. If right now it's just she's got to stay ahead of Coons to throw there, that one. Flat coming out. The flatter you can keep it, the more aerodynamic it is. A little tilt up on there, so I ride whatever wind that might be out there in the infield. She's competed in six meets so far in 2022 and has not been beaten. So 
no improvement. 62-36 will remain the eighth spot in the order. There's Valerie Allman. Sitting on 67-62. Again, she's done 71-46 this year. The American record, the world lead. She always seems enthusiastic, and that's big. Up to the 70-meter line. A roar from the crowd here at Hayward Field. Four times the U.S. champ. Got three Diamond League wins this year. It's been really a magic run all through last year, through Tokyo, through this year, the lead-up to another global championship. Very exciting. As we keep track of 62-36, is the bubble to get into those last three throws. Top number right now, again, belongs to Fang Bin of China at 69-12. Back to consult with her coach. And Allman betters her mark. Well, again, here's your leader now, the surprise leader. Three times her national champ. Had never thrown beyond 66 meters. She cracked 67 and 68 and got out to 69. Was that the throw to win the competition on her very first throw? Shock them. And certainly the competitors who all thought they were kind of going to fight for the medals maybe didn't think that they were going to have to contend with Fang. 66-89. So 25 minutes ago, that would have been a PR. And had a back to back gold medalist. World Championships 05-07. Maka Dajic of Germany won those. Maria Tolja unleashes one. So her kind of middle of the competition form continues. She threw 67, excuse me, 6307 on her second attempt. And since then has been just kind of slowly backing up. 62, 61, 60. So she'll have one more to try to see if she can find a big one to improve. 64, 71 is her PR. So you'd go, okay, well, that's her personal best. She's going to need to make a huge leap to see if she can do that. Well, we've seen a huge leap already in this competition. And what we saw from Fang. A marvelous throw of 69-12. Now everybody's chasing. That's hard. You, you, you try to stay relaxed because tension is the enemy in any of these things. And she puts that kind of pressure on you. Changes. Everybody's got, everybody's got a plan until somebody throws 69 meters that you didn't think was going to do that. Liliana Ka. Ka with the whip. Okay. 62 meters or so. Got a silver medal from the World Youth Championships 2013. And said she's improved here because in Doha in 2019 she did not make the final. So she's managed to do that. Since sixth in the competition, which the matches where she came in in the ranking system in the World Athletics, she was seventh. 99 for her. No improvement. The end of Plinken now comes through. Got a silver medal from the European Junior Championships. Got a gold medal in the European Junior. That was in the shot put. She said she's, she's really good across both those disciplines. The shot put and the disc. Probably asked her if she prefer. She's certainly better out there throwing plates. As we've done then. 
And as a couple of her fellow competitors have had to, she pauses and wait for the gun to go off in a 400 meter qualifier, lets him go by, and then gets in the ring, does her business. Winds up, back to the ring, get yourself turned twice, squared up. That got out over the 65 meter line, but you got a red flag. One more time and see where that she came, throws that around. And won't get anything out of that. So she'll have one throw remaining after that foul. With a moment now, the crowd fully behind Valerie Allman as she takes her fifth. Big spin, leans into that, knows that she did not get that technically, did not want that to, not where she wanted that to be at all. So she'll be down to her final throw. The woman who's thrown 71-41 is going to have to find at least 69-12 at this point to better Fang. Spin around. Great joy when she throws. Joyful competitor. But he knows that it's not good enough. So one more consultation with her coach. And it's into Perkovic. Allman said in my trajectory over my past 10 years, she has looked up to Sandra. She had all those accolades for a long time, setting the boundaries that hadn't been seen in a decade. To be in her company, someone that I've looked up to, strong, competent, dominant female. It's special to be in a competition with her. It's been special the last two years as she's dominated the rivalry. So that's out there. And better than most, but not as good as she needed. Croatian sportswoman, best female athlete. The last decade had to battle Blanka Vlasic for that title too, at least when it came to athletics, the great high jumper. Here's Fang coming in. She's now within a round of a major, major upset here at the World Championships in Eugene, Oregon. Illustrious medal is the gold she won at the Asian Championships. It's a big continent, but this is the whole rest of the world. She can conquer that one. Again, for a woman who first reached 66 meters earlier this year, just in April, she's, she's just keep knocking out throws like that the whole time. That's her new neighborhood that she's living in. Like so many here, says her idol in the sport is Sandra Perkovic. 65-60. So no improvement, but she's only got to get through one more round. Tolja in the ring. Her final attempt at the World Championships 2022 here in Eugene, Oregon. So many national titles. At the senior level, what does she have? Not a good piece of that, throwing it hard. Yelling to chase it out there. Bit of a sly grin, musters a bit of a smile. Look like the corners of those lips moved up. Smile, bouncing. Lost that ring. Closing 
much of that as you can. And there you see the strain. And that's a really violent act. At the release of the implement. 61-82. No improvement. She'll come to Eugene, Oregon. She'll make the World Championship final. She will finish in eighth. But at 22 years old, you can bet that she will have more championships in store for her. Stay healthy, as it is with all athletes, but you look forward to that. So here's the last chance to defend that gold medal. Yami Perez. Short of the most important lines. Cuba denied a medal again on another night. Santiago de Cuba. Last two world championships, fourth in the gold medal position. She was fourth in Beijing as well. And here, not quite the showing maybe we expected from her. It is sort of in line with her form of the season. Yama Perez will finish seventh here at the world championships. Liana Ka, her final throw of the competition. 25. 35, excuse me, Portuguese, Portuguese woman. We have from the national record holder here on her final attempt. She's fifth at the Olympics. We'll finish sixth here at the World Championships. So as things sorted out very much in the first three rounds, they have held over the back three rounds. Ka, whose personal record is, personal best is 66-40. Goes 60. 399, and it is not quite enough. Good look there at Allman as she's waiting and pacing a little bit. She's used to being in front the whole time. And just, that's how she was at the Olympics. She was ahead. Let them all come get her. Here she's been chasing. Claudine Vita. In the ring for her final throw. And we stretch it out past 64 24. The three German throwers, two of them didn't get up past the first three throws. Bowed out early. Vita. Goes 6186. She's gonna finish fifth spot. Fourth in the Diamond League, so of where she is in the pecking order in the national, excuse me, the international scene. We're in Clinton. And you could hear that. You don't need me to tell you how that one went. You could hear her. Red flag for her. Knew she didn't like it. And Clinken, by virtue of her fifth attempt, 64-97, will finish fourth. But now we come to the main attraction. This is it. Here's the drama of this event. Fang through 69-12 in the first round. Valerie Allman, the Olympic gold medalist, has been chasing her since. Sandra Perkovic, four times a world championship medalist, two gold, has been changing her, uh, chasing her ever since. Here's Allman. No one on the track. She has all the eyes of the stadium here for her sixth and final throw. Will there be something special from Allman? There will not. So on her home soil, acknowledges the crowd. Maybe some disappointment there. 
that just depends on where you are and your standard of excellence because, geez, to be on the podium at a global championship, one of the three best in the world. But a foul on her fifth attempt and just a poor technical throw only with 51 meters on her last attempt is not quite what she thought was going to happen. So Allman, the Americans, gold in the shot, gold in the hammer, thought they had a really good chance at the gold here in the discus throw. They will medal, but it will not be gold, the bronze. So now Perkovic. She's got two gold medals and two silver medals so far in World Championship competition. Check that, two golds and silver. It was a bronze in Doha, a bronze in Doha. Women's got so many medals to keep track of that uh, I misspoke the throw out there. Not enough. There's your champion, Fang Ben, the surprise winner. Qualified eighth. Her personal best coming in. Also barely touching the top half of the contestants. And with a great throw, a giant throw at 69 12, 69 meters 12 on the very first throw. She's won the competition. Perkovic's last throw measures out 65 67. She's going to throw again. Why not? You've had, a, you've had the best day of your life, sporting wise. Thank Ben one more time. It sticks in the ground. Put a fork in it. The competition is over the champion the surprise champion Fang Bin takes down Perkovic takes down Valerie Allman takes down Perez the defending gold medalist Fang won <laughs> Fang won she'll celebrate Crosser, you see some of the other runners out there. Those are the, the, the ladies getting ready for the steeplechase final. Get the flag, and immediately there's the new thing. There's the medal. Give her that gold medal right away. She gets it for pictures, gets it for the victory lap. She quite knew what it would be. She's never thrown 69 meters. She hadn't thrown 67, hadn't thrown 68. And she busted out past 69. Here's your final results, and as you said, the, as I said, the class is at the top there. I mean, the medals were three meters clear of fourth place. Four meters from the top. Fang Bin, Sandra Perkovic, Valerie Allman, all the way down to Putins and Kausaga. Again, the, the accomplishment of making to it a global championship final. Feng Ben, winner and gold medals.